Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one. Welcome back to Pacific Drive, where I have just barely made it back alive uh, from the zone, and the car is absolutely trashed. I'm going to immediately date this video, by the way, by saying that I'm recording this right before I have to head up to the hospital for a CT scan for the cancer. Although I won't get the results of that. Uh, and the lab tests. My god, this car is absolutely ruined. <laughs> But I won't get the results of any of that uh, until Tuesday. So, yeah. anyway, back to the game. Oppie has suggested that I might want to think about armoring the car a little bit before heading through the expansion war and getting into the mid zone, or at least trying to find a way through the expansion war. Bearing that in mind, it's probably a bit dumb to waste repair putty on stuff that I'm going to be replacing. Ah. Like this crude headlight, which is almost completely broken and also has a smashed bulb. So, yeah. Also, what's wrong with this panel? Fragile. There's no fix for fragile. There's no fix for worn. There's no fix for bulb. Um, they're basically just going to keep breaking. You may as well scrap them and just replace them with entirely new parts. Got a steel door there though, so I think it's the only steel component I actually have on the uh, car. This tyre is bold, so that's going to need replacing, which is a bit of a bummer because it's one of my summer tyres, not a spare. This summer tyre is alright though, so we'll repair this one. I, I really need to start researching and unlocking steel panels because they're not only well, they have better damage resistance, but they also have more overall hit points, so as the car takes damage. Yeah, this bumper's fragile as well, so that's going to have to go. Um, yeah, as the car... The car can take more damage before things get ruined, as you upgrade the panelling. This, by the way, is the matter deconstructor. And it allows you to actually salvage stuff rather than simply dumping it. Like the summer tire here. Oh, inventory spoiled. Um, it's alright, we'll pick it up and hold it on hand. So we should get some rubber and maybe some scrap out of this. Yeah, a lot of rubber. Oh, and there's a gear in there as well. That's useful. Notice I got almost nothing out of the crude bumper that I recycled, but the summer tyre, because it's a more advanced component, uh, we do actually get a little bit more. The bonnet's completely junk as well. And it is just a crude panel, so I'm not expecting an awful lot. Yeah. Just a few bits and pieces. Still, it's better to salvage them than just dump them. Uh, yeah, this panel could use some repairs, but I'm out of repair putty, <laughs> so hooray. This headlight, yeah, I need to scrap that as well. And again, it's just a crude component, so I'm not expecting to get a lot. Yeah, a uh, copper wire and a road flare, as well as a bit of scrap. Oh, the fax machine. There's a transmission waiting for you every time you get back from a road trip, and the fax machine is where you store all of the message logs that you discover while you're out in the zone. Yeah, this door's completely ruined. Oh, great. Yep, it's fragile. Not a lot of point in repairing this. May as well scrap it. Oh, got a bit more than I expected out of that one. Some scrap. Some duct tape, a bit of plastic. Oh, this door needs to go as well. I mean, I can fix the crack with the ceiling kit, but there's not a lot of point because the door's now become fragile. So, into the deconstructor it goes. So, how many bits do I actually have on the car? That there's one tire, two doors. Yeah, that tire's all right. That panel's all right. The headlight's okay. Nothing wrong with the engine. The front bumper. Oh, this panel's completely buggered as well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, everything else appears to be 
okay. Yeah. Okay, right. So most of what is still on the car needs repairing. But there's not an awful lot not an awful lot that's still on the car. I've had to scrap at least half of all the doors and panels. Okay. I have 4.8 stable energy. I need to build some better stuff. Steel bumper I can do. So let's unlock the blueprint for that. I hope I've got the components to make these things because I don't want to be going back out into the zone with a car that doesn't have all of its doors and panels attached because then I get no protection from environmental hazards. Okay, we need steel panels as well. And I should have enough for steel doors. I do. All right. Let's see what else is there. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing armoured panelling or lead plated. Although, I, di I did actually get a bunch of lead from my last zone trip. But you need unstable energy for all of that, which I suspect is stuff that we're going to collect in the mid zone. Yeah, armoured panels, we can forget. But I can do a steel door, so that's... That's good. I mean, this stuff has more damage resistance and can take more of a beating. Uh, before you deplete your car's protection levels. I still have 3.3 stable energy, so what else can I do? Let's have a look. More expansion racks. I could fit another side rack, but I don't have anything to actually put on the side rack other than side-mounted floodlights, and they just drain way too much battery power. But it's only one energy to unlock an additional rack, and I suspect I'm probably going to need all four. So we'll go ahead and attach this. Where do I want it? Let's put it on the same side. Actually, no, we'll have one on each side. There we go. I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now then, side storage. Oh, spare tire. I can't actually make summer tires yet. Uh, the summer tires that were on the car were stuff that I just found while out in the zone. So until I can actually make summer tires, Spare tire's going to have to do. Now let's see what I can do about replacing some of those doors and panels that I had to scrap. There we go, steel doors. Ah, need steel sheets. And I don't have any, but you can refine steel sheets, and I've unlocked it uh, from scrap metal. Actually, that reminds me. I don't think I emptied the, uh, the trunk. <laughs> I think I've still got a whole bunch of stuff in the trunk. Maybe there's a steel sheet in there? Because you can pick them up from the zone. Oh, dumpster pill. I've forgotten about that. There are different kinds of dumpster pills, apparently, and they each deconstruct into different things. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Duct tape, 9 volt batteries, a steel sheet. Useful. Okay. So, back to the workbench. So, one steel sheet, which means I can now make my first steel door. Um, and I've got plenty of scrap metal so I can refine more steel sheets. You don't need to actually do this from the refinement tab, by the way. As long as you've got the materials. For example, you can go straight to the steel door. And you can actually refine them from this page. Going to need some steel panels as well. There we go. That's what I mean. You can just make the components that you require from the same page as the item that you want to construct with those components. And the panels require two steel sheets. So, and the steel bumper again. Yeah. I'm starting to run a bit low on scrap metal. I mean, it's the easiest resource to get, but I think I only had about 50. Still, this is, this is definitely good. Um, and, you know, the steel components, they just look better as well. As well as having more damage resistance and more overall health. So... Where was the bumper at the front? Yes. Wait, no, that's a crude bumper. Must have been at the back. You know what? I want the steel bumper on the front, not on the back. So we'll transfer this one to the rear and we'll put the steel bumper at the front where it's likely to get more use. This one can go on the back. There it is. Right. 
pick up the rest of the stuff and add it to the car. I had a sudden rush of shit to the brain here, thinking, well, I've got a panel here, but I don't see anywhere else that a panel needs to go. Yeah, Jingle's the, the hood. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking that the hood had to be covered with a door rather than a panel. Um, but that crude panel on the wing, I mean, that really kind of needed to go anyway. Although it doesn't need to go as much as the, uh, the rear door on the car, which is also a crude rear door and is in shockingly bad state. So, I still have one steel door to fit for the rear passenger side door. That's fine, I have a steel door constructed. And I'm pretty sure I, I actually have, I mean, I'm, I don't have hundreds of scrap metal, but I've got enough to make a few more doors and panels. Oh shit, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm out of scrap metal. Oh. Anything in the transfer trunk? No, no, there wouldn't be. Stuff in the transfer trunk can be used for crafting. That's no problem. I can scrap the junker in the yard. I think for a panel, I only need the one sheet of steel, which means I only need six scrap metal. But when you're this low on scrap metal, you take everything you can get, so I'm gonna scrap everything. And that'll be enough. I, I might even be able to get enough to re actually know the rear door requires two steel sheets so that means 12 so to replace the rear door and manufacture a hood i'm going to need 18 scrap and i don't think i can get that much although you never know we'll see how it goes oh a steel power god damn it if i just had the liberator tool i could just take the steel panels and doors off the junker rather than having to scrap them uh, but they're a better source of scrap metal and just regular crude paneling so yeah yeah th th this is fine and since i still have 2.3 stable energy left i think i'm going to unlock better tires the summer i don't know if i actually have enough resources to make summer tires for all four wheels on the car but um, at least now i have the option a side fuel tank hmm so there's a number, of, I mean, I still have 1.8 energy. A lightning rod. I am running into battery problems. I like the look of that. Every time you get zapped, it charges your battery a little bit. Crude headlights though. They need replacing. So regular headlights. And I do still have 1.3 stable energy. I mean, Let's have a look. I think I quite like the look of this lightning rod because there are a lot of electrical hazards in the outer zone. And if I can get some battery power when I inevitably drive into them and it fits on one of the side racks that I've just unlocked. First things first. New headlights. I can make two, but I'm going to have to make bulbs and I will be completely out of pressurised cartridges. But I only need two, so it's fine. I can always get more pressurised cartridges. Right, steel panel. Go, go, gadget, steel panel. Right. All of the uh, scrap that I salvaged from the junker in the yard came in handy there. So I can now replace both of my crude headlights with, uh, well, regular headlights. I mean, they've got to be better, right? Otherwise, what's the point? Let's get the engine covered up with my brand new shiny steel panel. What else did we have to do? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the second headlight. And then of course I can scrap all of the crude stuff. How's the car doing? Rear door still needs, I don't know if I want to fix it or just replace it entirely. Because it's in shockingly bad state. Car's fueled up. I don't have many crude panels still on the car. Let's see if I can make another one. Well, another steel one. Uh, door, yeah, not panel. I'll have, yeah, I do have enough. All right, well, that's, that's that problem solved. It's two steel doors. Can I make a steel panel as well? Ah, no, I only have enough scrap metal left to make one of the steel sheets that I need, but that's all right. I have a plan because I'm going to be replacing 
well, for a start, I'm going to be re replacing this rear door, and then I'll scrap the crude door, and I'll get some scrap metal from that that I can use to make, hopefully, another steel sheet. So let's get the uh, the new steel door in place, and it just looks much better. Right, we'll go and scrap this thing since it's outlived its usefulness. Can scrap the two crude headlights as well. I'm sure this is going to be more than enough. And I have another crude door that's going to need replacing. No, that's a crude panel. Uh, that, that I'm just going to have to repair. Yeah, there it is. Scrap this bastard as well. Nice little pile of scrap there. Oh yeah. More than enough. So we're going to have all of that. A load of road flares there from the uh, crude headlights. And now, I'll tell you what, let's put this uh, fresh steel door on, replace the one that I just scrapped. That's starting to look pretty nice. I think I've only got one crude panel left on the car. That one there. She's looking pretty good. Oh no, there's another crude panel back there as well. So, well, now that I've identified which crude panel needs replacing the most, you never know, I might actually be able to make two steel panels with all of the uh, scrap that I just got. What? What do you mean I don't have enough scrap? What are you talking about? Do I need to put it into the transfer trunk? Can I not actually craft from stuff in my inventory? Look, I've got a steel panel in my backpack. <laughs> Although I, I don't have an actual lot of scrap. I think there's only four scrap metal there. Oof. Ah, friendly dumpster. Friendly dumpster. You know what I need? Canned food and rubber. Damn you, friendly dumpster. It's always the ones you trust, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? Let's get this car painted up. Because there's... I mean, I haven't actually found an awful lot of paint or decals, but I found some, and they've just been sitting in the paint rack. I may as well use them. There's a huge range of paints and decals that you can find out in the zone. At the moment, I think I've just got this evergreen paint, uh, something called matcha paint, and then a couple of decal sets. Hmm. I've got black stripes and white stripes. You know, I think I like the idea of white stripes. I think it goes better with a the green. There we go. Much more distinctive. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the wood panelling. It's way too 1970s. Oh yeah, a vast improvement. And it looks way better on the steel panels than on the crude panels, because, you know, steel panels are just better. Oh yes, very nice. Can't help but feel I'm forgetting something, though. Oh, summer tyres. This is going to use up all of the scrap metal that I was hoping to use to make another steel panel, but eh, tyres are important. Now, observe as I screw this one up in spectacular fashion. I've got one summer tyre already on the car. I have enough materials to make another two summer tyres. There are three spare tyres on the car. This spare tyre is in perfect condition. The two spare tyres on the other side of the car both require repairs, which means repair putty, which means chemicals, all of which are in short supply. So why am I scrapping and replacing the perfect spare tyre? Because I'm an idiot. So I now have two damaged spare tyres on the car and only one pristine summer tyre to replace one of them with. I mean, no matter what happened, I was still always going to have one spare tyre left on the car, but at least it would have been in perfect condition instead of being damaged and in need of repair. So now I have to make some repair putty uh, to fix the spare tyre that still needs repairing and the crude panel at the back end of the car that also needs some attention. And guess what? Don't have enough resources to make any repair putty. <laughs> I mean, as disasters go, it's not that bad. I mean, 20 minutes ago, the car looked like this. <laughs> so this is a vast improvement, but it's a lack of attention to detail like this 
that while it's not going to get you killed in the garage, it might get you killed out in the zone. Hopefully that's not any kind of foreshadowing, uh, because with basically no scrap metal and running dangerously low on all kinds of other stuff, while the car is in better shape, I am definitely going to need to head back out into the zone on another scavenging expedition before the car is even remotely ready to try to make the breach through the containment wall into the mid zone. That coming up in the next episode. In the meantime, hope you're all having a great weekend, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.